Good morning, everyone. I'm going to discuss to you lesson one and lesson two of our module one, an introduction to research and what are the kinds of research. And in doing that, I will I will I will also discuss the answers to our first two quizzes. So while discussing the answers to our first two quizzes, I am also discussing the topics that are included in our module one, the first module of our class. But before that. Let me first share to you a very nice word of God. Now, because it's so important for us to begin our work, to begin our lives every day with the word of God. To guide us on what to do, to guide us what to think and what to feel, and to give us wisdom on what are the things, the good things that we should do. Not only for ourselves, but also for our family and of course for our country and for our living God. So, I would like to share to you James chapter 1 verses 5 to 6. It reads, If any one of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. So what does it mean? If you lack wisdom, if you lack knowledge, if you feel that you have a very low IQ, you cannot understand easily the lessons of our classes, if you cannot understand easily the people who are around you, if you have no wisdom, if you cannot decide well on what to choose, left or the right, the this thing or that thing that person or this person if you cannot decide if you feel that you lack wisdom what to do you should ask god because what does god do he gives generously god is so generous what we have to do is just ask we ask from him he gives generously without finding fault it means that when he gives, he does not look at what have you done in the past, what were the sins that you done that you did in the past, what were the mistakes that you have done in your life. He does not care about that. As long as you ask for wisdom, it will be given to you by our generous, very, very generous God. But there is a requirement. But when you ask, when you ask for something, you must believe. You must believe and not doubt. Because when you doubt, you are like someone who is like a wave of the sea. You'll just be like a wave of the sea. Murarakag balud sa kadagatan. Blown and tossed by the wind. So when you ask class, you ask by, with faith. When you ask, you ask with faith. So that you will not be like a wave of the sea that is being tossed by the wind. Blown and tossed by the wind. Going to the left, to the right, you have no direction. So if you feel that you have no direction right now, if you feel that you are nothing, you are worthless right now, you are going nowhere in your life, ask God with faith for wisdom. And you will know what to do, what to feel, what to see, and what to think. Praise the Lord. So, right now, we are now going to discuss Module 1 by discussing the answers of our quizzes. So, let us first discuss Quiz 1. So, in discussing Quiz 1, we are going to discuss also, at the same time, the topics within the Module 1. So, if you have your module there, open your module and you can read now you can find the, the topics I'm going to discuss right now. So in our first quiz, uh, there were 80 responses and the average was 5.8 and the median was 5 points. So what does it mean? Most of you failed in the first quiz. But don't worry, ask for wisdom. So in our future quizzes and exams, uh, you can study well. So here are the frequently missed questions. So this question, one example of research is solving a crime investigation case. So only 2 out of 80 
student students got the correct answers then research directly solves problem only 31 so less than majority then also less than majority answered no uh, correctly for this question Boknoi is a police officer blah 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 and the worst is in the stage of identifying the problem in research the researcher, the researcher identifies a research problem like what are the causes of crime what are the patterns of crime and who killed a person a crime this is sometimes true or false nobody got correct answer so i will discuss i will explain why is this so 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 here are the scores i will not read um so let us start first question one example of research is solving a crime investigation case only two got the correct answers the correct answer is false research is not about investigation of crimes investigation of crimes are done by police investigators that is solving a practical problem what does research do it solves a research problem not a practical problem crime investigation is solving a practical problem like crime so if you want to solve a problem you do criminal investigation and that is all not that is not research but that is a crime investigation uh, procedure in solving a crime so the correct answer is false research is not about investigation of crimes most of you answered true research involves skills that solves crimes no that is not uh, the correct the best answer here next and also when you answer do not answer some of you answered partially true and partially false and when you are asked with a question with uh, with this uh, when there is, where there is a clear categorical answer yes or no do not ever answer partially true or partially false unless it is correctly state uh, it is uh, implied by the question and given by the choices next research directly solves crime so this is uh, this is uh, related to question number one so research directly solves crime no the answer is no false research is not about solving of crimes directly but indirectly so for example if one if one researcher uh, researcher conducts a research in determining what are the patterns of crime when are they commonly committed where are they commonly committed when where how and those information will be given to police investigators and patrol officers so that knowledge from research could solve crime but indirectly i hope you get what i mean directly solving crimes is the uh, is the is the duty of police officers and other uh agents or persons and authority directly vested by the with duty to solve crimes directly so that's the duty of police officers indirectly research could aid solving crimes but indirectly so not direct so the correct answer is false which is not about solving of crimes directly no so some of you also answered partially true partially false so in a multiple choice uh question like this automatically uh, red flags are partially false and partially true but you you need to read of course the description because it might be partially but the first uh, instinct of a criminology student is to flag these choices partially true and partially false you flag that you cross that and then you choose between true or false but still you need to read because there are questions that are crafty no crafty made by the instructors or the future board examiners next question boknoi is a police officer tasked to investigate a crime he does not know the identity of the perpetrator and the victim the lack of knowledge on the identity of the perpetrator and the victim is a form of research problem this statement is not true true that statement is not true because it says here you you how to answer questions like this so this is how you should answer first you read the first uh first sentence now th the, these are the facts 
These are the facts of the case. Boknoy is a police officer tasked to investigate a crime. So, gisugo siya. He was tasked to investigate a crime. He is tasked to investigate a crime. But he does not know the identity of the perpetrator. This is a catchy question. Because research is about the lack of knowledge, but not uh, lack of knowledge on some uh, something. Now, this knowledge has not been published. This not, knowledge has not yet been discovered. But not knowledge on the identity of the perpetrator and the victim. Because this knowledge is connected with a practical problem. Practical problem. There's a difference between practical problem and a research problem. So if you read your module, the difference between the two is in terms of their nature. A, 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 a research problem is a lack of knowledge and it, that is motivated by the lack of knowledge. No? Motivated by lack of knowledge on something that has not yet been published. Like, what is the pattern of crime? In Dumaguete City, what is the pattern of crime in Shaton? What is the pattern of crime in in Bayawan City? What are the factors that cause crimes in Dumaguete, Bayawan, Shaton? What are the effects of patrol on crimes? These are research questions. We do not know the answers to these questions, but they are uh, they are opposite. To a practical problem like what are practical problem they are motivated by by real problems uh, in this world practical problems in this world like crime terrorism and so on and so forth so related to that if you do not know the identity of the perpetrator not the victim this is crime is a practical problem so therefore this is not uh, this is not uh, a research problem so, this statement is not true. So, you read here, this is the statement, the lack of knowledge and identity of the perpetrator is a form of research problem. Then, the last question, you should read this also. This statement is true. It's not true. Yes, it's not true that the lack of knowledge is a form, knowledge on the perpetrator and the victim is a form of research problem. So therefore, the answer is true, not false. So most of you uh, answered false. So this that is incorrect. No, that is uh, it is a practical problem not answerable by by research. You cannot do research on the identity of the perpetrator. What you do is criminal investigation. Okay. So next question. In the stage of identifying the problem in research, the researcher identifies the research problem like what are the causes of crime, what are the patterns of crime, and who killed the person in a, in a crime. This statement, they, this is sometimes true and sometimes false. Okay. So, let us read. When you answer multiple questions or uh, multiple choice questions like this, you need to read the facts. So, first, what are the facts? No, you, you read the facts. What are the facts? So, in the stage of identifying the problem in research. So, you are asked about a stage in identifying the problem in research. So, that is the first stage. Now, the researcher identifies the research problem. That is correct. No, in the first stage, the first stage of research, no, because research is a step-by-step -step process in solving a problem. What kind of problem? A research problem. And the first stage in solving a research problem is, is, identifying what is the research problem no in the first stage of research identifying the research problem so first the researcher identifies the research problem like what are the causes of crime that is correct causes of crime is a research problem no we we do not know what is the cause of crime actually in Dumaguete city uh, because each area each locality has different causes of crime Next, what are the patterns of crime? So this is a form of a research question. We don't know what are, what is the pattern of crime. Where do, do where do crimes concentrate? Is it on uh, is it on a particular street, particular barangay, or not? Or, or what in at what particular time? Evening, morning, what? We do not know. We need to get the data from the police station in order to determine the answer to this question. And next, so that is true. 
Next, who killed a person in a crime? Oh, this is a red flag. So, who killed a person in a crime? That's not the duty of a researcher. That, and that is not a research problem. Knowledge no, about that uh, is not derived by research. You cannot do research by doing a survey about this. Who killed a person in a crime? You cannot ask a bystander conducting survey. Who killed that particular crime? No, you cannot, uh, you cannot do that. But a police investigator is the one who will do this to investigate no, people, places, and things to determine who killed a person uh, in a crime. So, this is a practical problem. So, we have research problems here and we have a practical problem. So, we have the two problems here. So, then you read the last statement, declaratory st uh, statement. This is sometimes true and sometimes false. Oh, sometimes true, sometimes false. No, identifies the research problem. No, so in research, the researcher does not identify who killed a person in a crime, but he identifies the research problem and the part of like uh, causes of crime and patterns of crime. But he does not uh, identify who killed a, per a particular person in a crime. So this is entirely false. No, look at. Uh, this is sometimes true and sometimes false. Sometimes true, sometimes false. That is not uh, clear and stable. No, that is not definite. So therefore, no, it's not true because all of the elements of reason are stated. No, it's not true that it is sometimes true and sometimes false. Dili tinuod nga sometimes true, sometimes false. But it is always false. Because it's not sometimes true and sometimes false. It is always false because there is one here that is not a research problem. So the answer is false. Nobody got the correct answer, unfortunately. Hopefully, you will learn how to answer questions like this. Next. So let us read the facts again. Mario doubted the social learning theory's applicability in the Philippines. What is a social learning theory? It says that crime is learned. No, crime is learned. Uh... Uh, in the uh, uh, crime is learned and this theory uh, uh, came from the differential association theory but added some elements so i will not discuss the entire, entire definition description of the theory so he tested it using filipinos as respondents so he he doubted whether the social learning theory uh, created in the u.s would be applicable in explaining crimes in the philippines so he found that the theory is highly applicable in the Philippine setting after testing it because the findings support the theory. This research uses deductive reasoning. This statement is correct. So correct ba nga this research uses deductive reasoning? What are the facts? So si Mario, he tested the theory, a general theory. He gathers he gathers the he gathered the data and he found that the theory is highly applicable in the philippines and this is deductive reasoning no so this research uses deductive reasoning that is correct so this statement is correct so true it is true that that statement this research uses deductive reasoning is correct so it is true it proceeds from general the general the theory, general, and collecting data is specific, and whether it supports or contradicts the general theory. So the correct answer is true. So very good. Majority of you got the correct answer. Next, who won not using a questionnaire interviewed 10 drug addicts to examine their lifestyle? This research is idiographic. The answer is idiographic. No, only 10 drug addicts. And not using questionnaire. So probably he was just uh, determining. Uh, he was just uh, determining their answers. He was just determining their their verbal answers. No, and re recording the answers, but not using a questionnaire. So if he he if one used a questionnaire, and he he could he could administer the questionnaires to thousands, hundreds of drug addicts. And that would become nomothetic. 
because in normal theoretic research is all about uh, it's all about gathering less information but among many people or persons like survey so that's it normal theoretic but in e-geographic you gather many information but among few people because you interview you cannot interview many people because that would take about one hour two hours in, a, in an interview you can only manage to interview 10 20 people so, but the upside is you get as much information as you can when you interview a drug addict unlike in using a questionnaire so let us proceed so it's not both uh, edugraphic and nomothetic it should be one only edugraphic and it's not quantitative no, because uh, not using a questionnaire, interviewed. It's just interviewing. So what are the answers of the interviewees? These are the verbal words, not numbers. So it's not quantitative. So 30 of you answered quantitative. It's not quantitative. When you say quantitative, it's all about numbers. No, you turn, uh, you turn the data into numbers. Uh, Next, when you get uh, uh, crime data from the police stations, that involves numbers. You administer a survey using a questionnaire. You turn uh, the responses into numbers. So that's quantitative. So let's continue. The Social Weather Station recently released survey results on the top 12 Senate candidates. This research is... No? SWS, so top 12 Senate candidates. It's not deductive. So six of you answered, what is deductive? There is a theory, you test that theory and the answer to that, whether it uh, supports or contradicts the theory. That is deductive research from general to specific. Next, ideographic. So some of you answered ideographic. That's not ideographic because that is a survey. Who are you going to vote? So the person will just ask, will answer Joel Villanueva for senator, Sibak for party list. Uh, that is just the, the answer, just a very, a, a very minute data that is, uh, and that could be summarized into a number. So that is not a geographic. In a geographic, you interview a person, you record the interview, the answers of the person, and verbatimly you transcribe the results of the interview and you analyze it. That's idiographic research. Next, applied research. It's not applied research, so you cross that. Because in applied research, there is a program like Tokhang, for example. Tokhang is a, uh, 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 is a plan of the PNP. It was a plan in the PNP conducted to to convince drug addicts and pushers identify drug addicts and drug pushers these are drug offenders to surrender themselves and to undergo rehabilitation processes so that is a program so and to evaluate when we evaluate tokhang what is the effectiveness of tokhang in this particular barangay that barangay that is what we call applied research you apply it to real situation in a program and so on and so forth so that's not here it is a basic research it's ws survey is a basic research you, there is no program that is being evaluated you just get the data no so that is a uh, basic research not applied so some of you answered applied so you're wrong but the correct answer is it is quantitative no it is quantitative because you get the numbers of who how many, what is the percentage of those who, who will vote for Joel Villanueva, for example, or CBAC, CBAC Citizens uh, Battle Against uh, Corruption, CBAC. So uh, how many of them, the percentage, 80%, so that's quantitative research. So that's it for our first quiz. Now let's go to our second quiz. Okay, let's go to our second quiz. So while discussing the questions, I'm also discussing the topics in our module. So you improved. So congratulations. So in the first quiz, the, the 
uh, most of you got a very low uh, score right now the score the, the average increased to 11 median 11 also but still most of you failed the exam because the passing grade for this is so the half of 27 the half of 27 is 23.5 so we'll round it to 24 so only actually i oh know not 24 uh what do you call this 13.5 we'll round it to 14 so uh for only two got 14 7 got 15 9 got 16 4 got 17 18 4 then there is one who got 22 so congratulations to the 22 but the rest for this one who got zero so please study well then two got two uh three uh two got three then one got four four five two six three seven two got eight seven got nine then nine got ten then eleven got eleven then four got twelve ten got thirteen two got fourteen so please study well in our future quizzes so most uh, uh most of you got the wrong answers in these questions about is the survey and some research questions process blah 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 and the worst is this question the following are not research problems so we'll discuss this now later so here are the scores I'll not read that so let us go to this first our, our first question so let us start so the sws survey results show that the 30 has about 60 percent satisfaction rating this survey is nomothetic in nature this statement is sometimes correct so when you when you answer questions like this you start with the facts what what what, what are the facts the sws survey results show that the 30 has about 60 percent rating so you got here 60 percent that's a number then the 30 a person then a survey it is a survey no this survey is nomothetic in nature nomothetic in nature that is a statement of the the question nomothetic in nature so is this statement sometimes correct <laughs> So this is a question, catchy question. So when you answer like a question like this, when you answer questions in a board exam someday because you are about to take the board exam, maybe next year, so you read each word. So here, there's no problem here and up to here because it is nomothetic in nature. But here, this statement is sometimes correct. It is true that it is nomothetic because it is quantitative. It deals with numbers and it deals with many people about 1200 respondents of the sws survey if you are reading the news so this statement is sometimes correct no that is not just sometimes but always correct that that is nomothetic in nature this involves number and it it can survey among many people several persons like 1200 so it's not correct that it is sometimes correct so the answer is false not sometimes so this is the 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 word you no know, that makes the statement incorrect so the answer is false don't you ever answer partially true partially false in the board examination unless you are sure but the instinct for board uh, takers is that if you see choices like partially true partially false that's uh, your red flags those are red red flags already red flags meaning you question them out you you eliminate them no in the process of answering questions multiple choice questions you apply elimination you eliminate partially false partially true first so you are to choose between true and false only so majority of you answered uh, true so you are wrong the answer is false next a research problem is motivated by the lack of knowledge which one does not know. For example, Juan does not know who is the PNP chief and therefore he, this is his research problem. This statement is correct. So, what is the first uh, technique? You answer, the first thing to do is you, you read the 
the facts. So here are the facts. A research problem is motivated by the lack of knowledge which one does not know. So up to here, it's, it's correct. In a research problem, we are motivated by information that we do not know on particular class of subjects. For example, who one does not know who is PNP chief? Oh, something is wrong here. Because not knowing who is the PNP chief is not a research problem. You do not do research. You know, what, what is research? Research is not about, no, we are going to discuss this later, but I'm going to discuss. Research is not about going to a book, uh, reading the book, going to an internet cafe, uh, searching the internet. Or something. That's not research. No, research is get, getting data from a class of persons and you are motivated by the lack of knowledge among these persons or data. So it's not about who is the PNB chief. No, that's not a... Uh, that's not a research problem, that's a practical problem, not knowing these people. Therefore, this is his research problem, so that is not correct. So, this statement is correct. So, false. It's not correct that this is a research problem. So, this statement is correct. So, a statement, who one does not know who is the PNP chief and therefore this is a research problem. This is not a research problem, not knowing who is the PNP chief, so therefore... This statement is correct. That is false. That that statement is no this 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 statement here is false. That this statement is correct. No. So that is this statement is false. That this statement is correct. I hope you get my point. So the answer is false. But still some of you answered partially true, partially so you got my point earlier, so crush them out in your elimination process. You eliminate partially false, partially true first, then you are to choose between true and false. But you read uh, carefully the facts. You read each of the word here so that you will not commit mistakes and so that you will pass the board exams someday. So this is just a practice because you're already a fourth-year student, so I'm teaching you uh, something. Next, research is a consensus process because so research is a consensus consensus process because it's a man. It uses what? The correct answer is number eight. Uh, first uh, uh, choice. It uses a step by step method in solving problems it uses chemicals in solving crimes it uses physics as a science of killing criminals so it's funny you know that four of you answered it uses physics as a science of killing criminals no we do not do that in research we do not kill criminals in this subject we kill criminals using physics that's funny <laughs> that's ridiculous but still four of you answer this question it uses physics as a science of killing criminals, we do not kill criminals in this subject. Next, it uses chemicals in solving problems. We do not do that. This is a practical problem in criminal investigation. No, this is not a criminal investigation subject. This is a research subject. Next, none of these statements. This is true because first uh, choice here, it uses a steep by steep method in solving. That's not a steep by step, but a step by step method. The spelling, you take note of the spelling, steep, what is a steep, that is different from step by step method, research about step by step method, one step at a time, identifying the problem, designing the research, collecting the data, this is a step by step way of solving a problem, that's research, but here the spelling is steep by steep, what is the meaning of, what is the meaning of steep, that's different from step, steep. So, uh, so I hope you get, you get the lessons here. You read each word when you answer multiple choice questions. When you answer the board exam someday, you read each word and you take note of the spelling. Not step by step. That's wrong. So none of these statements. Because in the board examination, you are to choose what is the best answer. The best answer among them and the best is that none of these statements next the following are not research problems except 
the following kuno, the following, all of them are not research problems. Except, so all of them are not research problems. Except one. So only one of them is a research problem, but all of them are not research problem. So, so only one is a research problem. So, first, so you are looking the except the statement that is a research problem no as an exemption so police corporal maria does not know who killed juan so as i said earlier it's not about criminal investigation that is a practical problem not knowing who killed somebody that is a practical problem we, we will not answer that here in research no in our subject we will not answer who killed this this board member who killed that member we, we do not do that that is that is in your criminal investigation. So, next. Fire Officer Pablo gathers statistics on arson incidents. Fire Officer Pablo uh, gathers statistics uh, on arson incidents. That's not research problem. No, that's not research because this is data gathering procedure, one of the steps in research. So, next, jail officer Ronald does not know the reason why inmates are depressed. This is a research problem. Uh, for example, you look at your jail, you are already jail officer someday, and you look at the jail inmates, some of them are depressed. You do not know what is the reason why they are depressed, so you conduct a survey. And you compare those depressed and not depressed what are what in what particular aspect they differ and that is a research problem and that is a research so this is correct the pnp analyzes data this is wrong the pnp analyzes data on crimes in a country to aid its operation this is data analysis so one of the step in research but not about research problem so it is identifying the research problem next research is Going to the library to read books? No. When you read books, that's not research, that's reading. That's literature review. You review the literature. What, what do you mean by literature? What has been written in the past? What has been written in the past? In the books, in encyclopedia, on the internet, everywhere. These are literature. So going to the internet cafe to visit websites. That's literature review. That's not research. It's wrong to say that you will go to the library you will go to the internet cafe to do research. That's not research. Mayroon ka nga, ma, mag-research mi. Muad ko sa internet cafe. Gay ko og load kay mag-research ko. Answer sa ako ang uh, sa exam. That's not research. That's only literature review. That's not research. Scanning the websites to find the answers to questions. That's not research. That's re literature review. But still, some of you uh, got the wrong answers. No, there are many of you here. And the correct answer is none of these statements is research. And this is correct. This is the correct answer. None of them because these are forms of literature review. You read the module, you study well, understand it. There are questions that are like this in the board examination. Next, it is an integrated body of assumptions, propositions, and definitions that are related in such a way so as to explain and predict relationships between two or more variables. So, what do you mean by this? That is, uh, this is just a uh, definition, so it's so easy. It is, it is a theory. But why <laughs> some of you got wrong? No, when you read the module, it is a theory. The integrated body of assumptions, what does it do? No, to explain and predict relationships between two or more variables. For example, one variable is crime. Another variable is social learning or association with criminals. What kind of theory is that that explains the, the link, the relationship between your association with criminals, you have friends who are criminals, and the number of crimes you have committed? That's differential association and later developed by social learning theory. So we call that theory. This is in your module. Please study well. Then hy hypothesis is not uh, correct. Hy a hypothesis comes from a theory. Not a hypothesis, and a hypothesis is used in a research and to be 
this tested. A theory may have several hypotheses, no? but a general integrated body of assumptions as one whole composed of many propositions or well, there are theses, so that is theory. But one part of the theory could be hypothesis. Uh, we'll discuss this in the future in our subject. Next, theory and hypothesis. That's not that's only theory, not hypothesis. Next, none of this, none of this. This is wrong because there's a correct answer that is theory. Next, Julio was a criminological researcher. He decided to conduct various studies as follows. So when you encounter in a board exam nation questions like this you read carefully all the the statements Julio was a criminological researcher he was a researcher he decided to conduct various studies so first collect he uh, various studies as follows to collect the data crime data to determine the crime patterns of a city that's research interview drug offenders on why they entered into drug using that's research then determine number three determine the satisfaction levels of police officers towards their current uh, drug war operations then number four determine which is more effective between Oplan Tokhang and Oplan high value target so that is research then determines the history of the PNP, BGMP and BFP that is historical research and determine whether Oplan Tokhang is effective in the cities of Negros Oriental that is also research a basic research so which of these so this is the question which of these studies, no, the, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which of these studies is a basic research? The answer is 1, 2, 3. Now, let's go. Let's identify. Huh? Number 1, collect crime data to determine crime patterns. That's basic research. That's not applied research. Now, applied research is you have a program and you test the effectiveness effectiveness or ineffectiveness of the program. So that's applied research. But here, you just collect the data. There is no program you test. That is not an applied research, but a basic research. You just collect data, knowledge, basic knowledge. It has no direct impact on crimes, but it impacts crimes indirectly because you gather data. Then you give it to the patrol officers. Then the patrol officers will use the data to determine what places they are going to conduct patrols more often. So in a particular city or in a particular city, a particular street, a particular barangay, they conduct based on the data from your research. So research indirectly solve crimes. But when you directly solve crimes, that's just a practical problem. No practical thing to do like patrol. That's not research. Patrol is not research, but it directly solves crime. But research can help patrollers to give them the data that they need in order to decide where, when, and how to conduct patrol. So number one, I think number one is basic research. Interview drug offenders. So number two is basic research. You just collect the data here and determine the knowledge you want to, to determine. Then determine the satisfaction levels of police officers. So these are basic research. Number four, determine which is more effective between Oplan Tokang. This is, this is applied research. There is a program and you determine the effectiveness of the program. That's applied. You apply knowledge to a particular problem. That's applied research. Next, determine the history of the PNP. This is basic research. So, 1, 2, 3, and 5 are basic studies. Number 6, determine whether Oplan Tukang is effective. This is applied, applied study, applied research. So, number 4 and number 6 are applied research. So, the answer is, is it 1, 2, 3, 4? No, because number 4 is applied. So we, but we are looking for basic research. So, is it 1, 2, 3? Yes. Is it 4, 5? No. So, you you mark x then four five because four is is basic oh, no, no four is applied five is basic so it's not four five is it six no because number six is applied research it's not basic so the answer is one two three next question julio was so the same question but we are now looking which of these is a basic reason so still we are looking for basic research is it number six no because so you mark that x 
No, because number six is determine of uh, whether oplantokang is effective. The effectiveness of a program again is applied research. Number five, determine the history of the PNP. That is basic research. You just gather the data to 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 determine some certain information, but with no immediate direct practical effect on a particular practical problem. So that is number five. Number four. Number four is determine what is whether more effective between Oplan Tokang and Oplan High Value Target. So that is wrong. That is practical problem. None of this. So that's wrong. None of this is wrong because there's one that is correct answer here. That that is five, which is determine the history. That is a research problem. Basic research problem. Next, the same facts, but a different question. Which of these studies is an applied research? So. We know that only four and only six are applied research. The rest are basic research. So, uh, which of these? Number one, no, because that is basic research. We are looking for applied. Number two, no. Number three, no. But number four, number four, somebody in number four, determine which is more effective between Oplan Tokang and Oplan High Value Target. Next. Julio was a criminological researcher. He, he decided to conduct various studies as follows. Collect crime data to determine the crime pattern. So the same question. But we have different statements in here. Number four is an applied research. So that is true. That is applied research. This statement is correct. True that this statement is correct. So the answer is true. So when you read questions like this, so you read the facts. First, you read the statement, declaratory statements like this. Number four is an applied research. Yes, this statement is correct. Yes, that is correct. So the answer is true. Next, the same facts but different question. I think this is the last question. So the same facts but different question so number three can be done through either ideographic and nomothetic research what is number three so we are looking whether number three could be done by ideographic like interview uh, interviewing small people uh, small number of people uh, gathering their verbal responses and nomothetic research Surveying these people using questionnaire different people. So is number three can number three be done through either either ideographic and nomothetic? So number three determine the satisfaction levels of police officers Yes, that could be done because you can interview ten persons and record their answers answers or you can gather data from them using questionnaires so the answer is yes, it can be done by collecting statistics and opinions of these people, of the police officers. Now, it's not true it can be done by collecting statistics only. So this is a catchy choice. Now, it's true. The answer is correct that it's true. But it can be done by collecting statistics only. But not statistics only. But you can also gather their opinion. Then true, it can be done by collecting drugs used by the... <laughs> this is... This is wrong, but some of you answered, answer, some of you, there are seven of you who answered this. This is ridiculous. You read, you read carefully the questions and the choices. No. True, that is correct, that is true. It can be done by geographic and homothetic, but the statement is wrong. It can be done by collecting drugs used by the users. Imagine, we do not do that in our research subject. We do not collect drugs used by users here. No, you, don't forget we are doing research in this subject. Next, true. It can be done by collecting pictures of police officers. Wrong. You cannot determine the satisfaction levels by just looking at the pictures of these, these police officers. Probably you, you will get a picture of a police officer who is angry. But it does not mean that he is not satisfied with the drug operation i hope you get what i mean so please answer well next time i hope you learn something from this uh, discussion on 
on what is research and what are the types of research as covered by our quiz 1 and quiz 2. As I told you, in the future, in the future quizzes, if you lack knowledge, if you lack wisdom, ask God. But uh, what is the importance of research? So I'll, ask, I'll answer that. Why do we have research in criminology? When you want to become police officers, jail officers, fire officers, or any other officers, uniform officer, or any job someday in a bank or wherever you want to uh, to have your job, uh, to do your job someday. You apply in many agencies as enumerated in our law on uh, uh, our law on criminology licensure examination and our profession, criminology. So, what is the importance of research? Is research important? Yes. First, reason why it is important. You will be called after graduating this program. Now, this program is Bachelor of Science in Criminology. You will be called Bachelors of Science in Criminology after graduating this program, BS Criminology. Bachelor of Science. Science denotes research. It connotes research. Step-by-step -step process of solving a problem, a research problem. That is research. That is science. Uh, scientists are not uh, are not only the ones who are wearing lab gowns, laboratory gowns in laboratories like like chemists, physicists, biologists. They are scientists, but criminologists are also scientists. Our laboratory are not within the four corners in a room, laboratory room, but our laboratory are within it or outside. Outside the laboratory room. Our laboratory is the world, the social world, wherein people commit crimes, wherein criminal justice agents do their job, either for better or for worse. So we study them. That is our why we need research, be, because we this program is Bachelor of Science in Criminology. That could not be Bachelor of Science without research. Without research, that's only Bachelor of Criminology or Bachelor of Arts in Criminology. But with research, Bachelor of Science in Criminology. Another thing is, in research, we gather data and analyze problems. We gather data and analyze problems. We do not conduct, uh, we do not implement programs haphazardly without studying first the problem. For example, if there is a problem, a drug problem, you notice in a city, you do not directly uh, conduct patrols and so on and so forth, but you gather data. You gather data where do these problems commonly occur? Where do, when do these problems commonly occur? Is it nighttime? Is it daytime? Where? How? What, how do they do that? We need to gather data about this. We need to gather data, not only from one person, not only from two persons, but from many persons. We conduct a survey. So I hope you get my point and please read our module properly and I hope to, to discuss module 2 next time. Please study well, ask God for wisdom and I pray that you will pass all our quizzes, subsequent quizzes and you will pass this subject. God bless everyone, to God be the glory.